when you cut over 600 million from your budget, critical economic foundations will not only be hurt, but will take years to recover. This is not the way to manage. This is not the foundation we want to use to improve the economic well-being of the state. I suggest to you that we need real tax reform that looks at our entire tax structure. But I am a realist. <clears throat> I understand the difficulty of achieving top to bottom tax reform in a political environment. If it was easy, it would have been done years ago. That's why I'm asking our leaders to consider a recommendation made in both of the Institute's tax studies. And that recommendation is to create an independent tax research entity to review major tax proposals and to inform our policymakers of the consequences of a proposed tax action. We pass things with no thought of ramifications. This entity could also serve our leaders by doing continuing and long-term studies to determine how to maintain stable and equitable rates and incorporate the flexibility necessary to adjust to the changing demographics that we have in this state. In establishing this entity, I also suggest providing for a legislative mechanism by which the recommendations of the research entity would be considered and acted on in a take it or leave it manner much like the federal BRAC process for closing military bases that are no longer needed. That is one vote up or down for the proposal. We all know what happens if every special interest group gets an amendment to protect their particular interests. We have reform that looks more like a Christmas tree than real reform. And a perfect example is sales tax exemptions. John Rainey, again, chairman of the Board of Economic Advisors and a member of the Palmetto Institute Board, is reporting that today, today, we collect $2.7 billion in sales taxes and we exempt $2.7 billion from such taxes. I'd suggest most of these exemptions were enacted without any real consideration of how they would affect our overall tax structure. 